Yo, what's going on YouTube? ACO official back again with a new video. Today we've got the Philip Line real versus fake on the skull t-shirt. If you watched my unboxing, you'll know what the real one looks like already. The fake one is on the left hand side as it always is. It's a bit different, but it's tried to copy the general design of the real one. And I'm gonna show you the differences. This is the first Philip Line product I'm actually reviewing. So if there are some things which are different from what you've already seen or know about the brand yourself, then feel free to drop that information below as it will help me and help others as well. The other thing is that these videos aren't conclusive. And what that basically means is just because the fake I have here looks like it does here, um, doesn't mean all fakes in the world are gonna look the same. And it's the same thing with real products, like the models change over time. So labels and stuff, like mine might look a certain way here, but if you've got a genuine product, it may well be genuine, but have different labels. So more than anything, the videos are just trying to give you a general idea of what to look out for. But yeah, anyway, getting into this real versus fake, straight away you can see the packaging. So the real one on the right hand side came in this box. Um, as you can see, it's got this kind of almost like crocodile type skin um, texture to it and then Philip Pline across the front in silver with the logo, really nice box. The fake one came in this random bag. It's not, it doesn't even say Philip Pline on it. I think I've said this in a lot of videos, but whenever you see bags like this with irrelevant branding, they just don't reflect the nature of a high-end brand. But anyway, I'll show you the bag that actually came with the genuine Philip Pline item. So here you can see it's got the full branding. It's got the big logo in the middle. It says Philip Pline across there. And then there's loads of little logos going across the whole thing. Two major tells on this one straight off is just the size of the print. The actual skull itself is much bigger than the real thing. And the Philip Line Originals print is also a lot bigger. So the next thing to look at is the color. When you order the real one on the website, it says white and this is the white it comes in. As you can see, it's not normal plain white. It's got a slightly different shade to it. But comparing that to the fake one, this one is just normal white. So while we're on the fake t-shirt, I thought it'd be worth showing you this little they added onto the bottom of the fake one. Now, I've not seen a real Philip Line t-shirt with this on, but I know there are some that do have it on. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but I do know it's gonna look a lot better than this. So we're moving on to the labels now. This is the fake one here, Philip Line size L. Just looking at the overall quality though, it just looks poor. So the real one is actually, it's like a square label and it's padded on the other side because it has this. I'm gonna show you that in more detail in a minute. The fake doesn't have that. Back onto here, we can see it says Philip Line and Switzerland. So it has, it does have similar details to what the fake one did have on it, but obviously this is completely different. Um, as I was talking about before, the other side of the fake one, there's nothing there. Looking at the real one, other side of that label, we've got this here. Um, that's a really nice detail to have on the back of the t-shirt. All right, so real tags first. We'll go through them one by one. This one says prosperity, strength, and devotion on the front. And on the back, it says Philip Pline. There's a few extra details on there. You can pause the video if you want to read it. And the next one just says Philip Pline on it. And the last one has got a barcode on the back. So it's got the usual sticker barcode here, name of the model, the size, and it says Philip Pline on the back of that. Um, now if we move on to the fake one, so this one does say Philip Pline there and again on that one, but it's completely different to the real ones I just showed you. Obviously the real ones are gonna be 2017, so it's possible that the cases, these ones are just outdated, the fake ones, but those are the differences for you there. If you do wanna see them in more detail, check out the Instagram page. This is the fake one. There's no indication of the brand or whatever, so it's as if they've just got a random t-shirt and just printed the design on it. Like, it's just a trash label. So if you look at the real one, as you'd expect, the major thing here is that there is branding, and then they also have this little hologram type thing here. All right, so I've covered all the main differences on these two t-shirts here. I suspect most of you probably knew before I even started the video which was real, which was fake, and why, because this one is pretty obvious, so you shouldn't really be getting caught out. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful. But yeah, I hope the video was helpful. I'll see you guys again in a bit. Peace.